Yo, 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 good afternoon, esteemed viewers. This is Fine TV Gambia, your live view point. And uh, it is your show, I mean, top easy on nation building. And today, as you can see, I mean, uh, we are having a young, dynamic, and a promising point. In fact, I mean, uh, one of the greatest, I mean, uh, poets uh, in this country. But are uh, you surprised to know that, I mean, he's not only a poet, but, I mean, also um, uh, a musician. I mean, but today we are going to, I mean, unfold whatever is in our store here. So, I mean, uh, I'll be your host, uh, Ibrahim Ambai, and I have my co-host here. Uh, before we proceed with the proceedings, I want her to uh, uh, introduce herself first. Good afternoon, wonderful viewers. This is Fan TV Gambia, your only viewpoint. I'll be your co-host for today. Stay tuned and keep watching on Fan TV Gambia. Thank you very much, Maria Makete. I mean, uh, she'll be my co-host. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, this is Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint. And today, I mean, we have the country's of finest. And not only, I mean, a poet, but let me say also, I mean, an upright, in fact, a right, already raised uh, musician. I mean, uh, but uh, we'll allow him to, I mean, tell us who is he. Yeah, first of all, I have to take this opportunity, you know, to greet each and every one of you, um, those who are watching and then, you know, enjoying this beautiful show. And then um, saying a big thanks to my people here, you know, the stars of Fine TV. I really, really, really appreciate the invitation, you know. And then uh, seems I came here, you know, you, you how to call it, you give me a very warm welcome. And then I really, really, really appreciate it, man, bro. Yeah, and I'm, um, the only thing that I will tell um, the fans is, now stay tuned and then how to call it enjoying the show thank you very much uh, nas james and you are welcome to fine tv gambia thank you i mean uh nas i mean could you tell us who is nas jobis where is nas jobis from i mean where did nas jobis start i mean his journey could you tell us who is nas jobis um nas jobis you know he's a young um uh, He's a Gambian and a young poet and then a young uh, rapper. You know, 
sometimes, you know, it might be very funny, you know, like, I mean, if people see me on stage performing much especially a music or poetry, and then, and then I'm going to, because it's not like what people were expecting from me, because Nas is well known much, uh, especially in sport. Um, yesterday, when I went to my school, you know, I was trying to advertise my event, and much of, most of the teachers were surprised. I said, wow, when, when, when did he become an artist or even a poet? You know, some even bought tickets just to come and, you know, you know see, is- see what I can do on stage. Trust me, VIP tickets is finished. Just yesterday, teachers were buying, teachers were buying tickets. Imagine, my former teachers were buying tickets because, you know, they, they how to call it, they, they know me in, in, in sport, much especially in, in, in um, a 400 meter specialist. And now after high school, most of them were expecting Nas will be, you know, will continue um, his, 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 his yeah, ex- exactly, his other career. But at the end of the day, you know, they were seeing me on TVs, you know, my flies everywhere. And they were asking, wow. What, really? what, what is this boy doing? So, you know, some of them were telling them he's now an artist, he's now a poet, you know. So when they, you know, saw the flyer out everywhere, you know, you know, I'm, I have, I'm hosting on a program um, this coming Saturday. All of Most of them are willing to buy a ticket just to come and see what I can do on stage. So it is never easy to be a poet or to be an artist, much especially um, um, the biggest challenge that I encounter is family issue. Because my family, I mean, like, um, uh, um, there's no one who you know, doing music or even a poetry. So I can tell you, I am the first person who is you know, doing a music and a poetry in our family. So it was one of the biggest challenges in my career. I even, um, how to call it, um, quit a music and a poetry for a year, you know, seeing how best I can see, how best I can convince them to continue my uh, my music and then poetry career. But, you know, because of I just have the passion, I love what I'm doing, you know, even if I want to stay away from it, you know, you know, yes. I cannot. But after later on, they realized this boy, you know, lost what he's doing. And then so why not we just push him and encourage him to do it? And much especially um, uh, my first um, uh, TV interview I got um, at this place, QTV, you know, I miss them and then, you know, already also move them, you know, which also has, you know, opened mm-hmm. another gate for me in order to, for them to believe in what I also love to do, much especially the poetry and then the music. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all because they were like thinking that okay if he become um, a poet or an artist he might be you know smoking drinking yeah. chasing <laughs> girls everywhere so that was their mental that was their belief and that being a poet or being an artist has never stopped me you know you know you know going to work or never stopped me you know you know being being who I am, you know, it's never stopped me. I'm still the same person. I'm still the same nurse. So that that one has nothing to do with me, you know. It's just that, you know, you know, you know, it's something that um, came to me naturally because I never learned how to write songs. I never learned how to write poetry, you know. Much especially when it comes to music, how to write a song on an instrument, you know. So it's just because of I love it. I have the passion. I believe in myself. I do practice every day. I do practice every day. So Alhamdulillah, now. I am good to go. I do everything by myself. I write songs by my own. I go to the studio. I pay my own songs. I pay my videos. So, you know, it's awesome. never easy. But awesome. Awesome. That's, school, that's, that's, yeah. that's just great. Congratulations. You, I mean, Nas, um, you made mention of I mean, sports uh, when you are going to school. Uh, could you tell us, I mean, the school that you attended, I mean, the first season of the school, whereby right now some of your teachers are surprised that, I mean, you into poetry and music. Could you tell us uh, the school? Yeah, I would love to say this. You know, I would love to say this and I will say it again. You know, my school, I, I, I remember I attended, uh, the first school that I attended was like um, Latin Kunda Jam and then so. But there, I only did um, one time there. So later we moved to Farato and then I continued my educational career at uh, Busumbala Farato Lower Basic School, commonly known as Kokum. Mm-hmm. So then from there, I also moved to Mindau, you know, the best school in this country. The best school in this country. I have to say it again. The best school in this country is Mindau. Trust me, bro. Mindau is a is, is is the best. You know, when I went to Mindau, you know, everything started to change academically. You know, I I you know everything about me is changed because like they they they, they changed me to be to be to, to be to be good in academically and then and, and then sport. You know, I started, you know, 
having interest more in education, going to school every day. You know, even even teachers respected me for that. Trust me. Imagine, I was I was an athlete at the same time. Attend attend every single class in the school, and up to date, you know, they respect me for that. Go to me now. Ask some of the teachers. Ask Mr. Cham, Mr. Sanyang. You know, they know me very well. You know, and Collins, they know me very well. But you know, when I came to Mindau, everything started changing. You know, everything. You know, you know, you know, in my life changed in a positive way. So I did my grade seven in Mindau until I finished my um, high school. That was back in 2017. So Mindau is where I did my high school and my upper and then high school. And it's and it's a school, you know. And this is 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 also part of the reason why NAS is NAS. Yeah. And I remember in Mindau. How to call it? I first how to call it, my first musical performance or my first cipher or the first time I hold a mic is in Mindau. Mindau okay. At the, at, the, at the basketball mm. court, I was doing cipher rap, but the first and Mindau is a school where I started doing my early career. And Mindau built me academically. So Mindau is 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 how to call it. I just can't say how. I just don't have, don't have enough words to describe Mindau. Yeah. Mindau is everything. Mindau, Mindau have done a lot for me. I just can't pay them. Imagine, just yesterday I went there. My tickets are almost finished. So big enough respect to the old teachers and the and and, and, and my fellow students and right now the students that are in Mindau, you know, respect to them. I uh, Nas, uh, I know one thing. Uh, Mindau uh, will ever be, uh, be proud of you. Yeah. I mean, now, um, now let's dwell into the discussion. Um, we've seen you being a poet and at the same time an artist. Nas, uh, what inspired you? I mean, who inspired you? When were you inspired to join music and poetry, Nas? Could you tell us something about that? Yeah, it sounds very funny. Because me, one thing about me, I, my family, you know, they want me to be, they want me to focus more on education. So for that being the case, I hardly have time into to engage into other stuff, even even sports. Sometimes I have to force myself, I have to hide myself and go and have training with the the, the, the athletic team and then stuff like that. But after that, the moment I'm in at home, I don't have time to go out. So then the only um, things that I have access to is radio. Okay. It's radio. We don't have TV, we don't have light. The only thing that I, I, I have access to is radio. So by listening to radio, because I do listen to music, news programs, different programs, even though the program is not interesting, you have that to listen because that's the only thing that can, you know, accompany you, you know, you know, because like um, you are very lonely, you don't you don't go out to play, so that's the only thing that's available there. You either read your books or hang out see other stuff that you do. So the only thing that I do is, you know, listening to radio and then brewing attire for my dad or my mom or when I have friends that are around, I brew attire for them. Then there was no like this smartphone, you know, we are not access to this. So, you know, even if you have phone, it might be a simple phone or stuff like that. So we are not ac easily accessible to this in order to see how to call it, to have sound say or to be on TikTok, on YouTube or other stuff. So the only thing that I was available, I mean, like is the radio. So through that, I was inspired, you know, listening to a lot of um, hip hop shows, you know, um, um, you know, shows where they interview artists and then stuff like that. So that's how I was inspired. Though when I was, you know, listening to them, I was not having dream to be an artist. Mm -hmm. I wasn't having a dream to be an artist, but I have the feeling, I have the feeling because I love music. Do you know? Because I was afraid. I was, I was afraid. I was like, oh, me, imagine me being an artist. Oh, you kill me. So these are the stuff that I have been thinking. But I want, that was the time I was like, I have to try one. One, and that will be the first and that will be the last. So you see, so I went to one of my bro, I told him, bro, can, yeah, I want to do hip-hop. So he, started, he was trying to tell me some elements of hip-hop and how to do it, you know. Just two, three days, he gave me the mic. That was at the middle basketball of basketball. Okay. Court. So, and then from there, I was inspired to do music. But imagine, what happened later? After, after that cypher, 
they went and reported me at home. <laughs> yeah, they, they went and reported to me, reported me at home. They would tell my they tell my dad and mom that look, I saw Nas, you know, was you know performing music and this and this. And this. What? Yeah. So I came home and I was like, ah, okay. So you went there, you were performing this and this and this, you know. So we had it saying a lot, you know. So that also gave me a tough time. Yeah. But at the end, you know, being you know, imagine being performing in, in in such a crowd and then people were you know supporting and saying, boy, you are good, you can do this. And that was the first time, you know, performing in such kind of crowd. And imagine, and that very first day, and you are allowed not to do it. It was so crazy, but wow, oh, boy, I'm already loved by the people. And imagine, my parents say, no, I cannot do this. So it was so crazy. So, you know, but patient, I just believe in myself and then, you know, doing my stuff on the ground and then that's, but, you know, still they were trying to monitor me and see if I am still in it or not. But later I realized this won't work. I have to try something else. So later, I had people doing poetry. Then I don't even know what is poetry. So you just you see, because I love writing, I love sharing my message uh, with people and stuff like that. So I found that you know there is something that they call poetry. Imagine being being in school for twelve good years. You know, I, I, they, I, I I never learned something about poetry, and because I was a commerce student, so my area you know you is not link it, it doesn't literature. link with literature and deep English and stuff like that. But naturally, I just listened some to some poets and then you know some spoken words and then some videos. So that's how I inspired. I learned something from it. Then the first poem that I even wrote, I can remember it was Mama Africa and stuff like that. So there was a, there was another program just behind the school, the school field. You know, yeah. they, we have you have another cipher, another cipher. You know, another cipher. So that cipher was, um, how to call it? We are having poetry, hip hop, you know, drama, miming. It was selling so. So I look at the list, I found um, poetry. I said, look, this time I have to try poetry. I have to try cipher, I have to try poetry. So that was the first day that I wrote my poem, and that poem was uh, Mama Africa. So what happened? I, that's where I found Magical. Uh, I met this girl, this guy, Magical. That's where I met Magical Jukes and Fofana. And Sidibe. So after reciting my poem, they were saying, wow, this boy is good there. Because they knew me before, but they were sure that you are into poetry. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So they were saying, wow, this boy, I thought this boy, you know, you know, can only you know do athletic, but only whole this boy is good in poetry. So that's how they were starting inviting me in their poetry programs at the Gambia College in a small restaurant called Bulhalat. Bulhalat restaurant. So they normally invite me there every Friday. So I do go there and, you know, go with them, perform poetry and then stuff like that. So as time goes on, I also build in more interest into it. So that's how I became a poet. And at the same time, that's how I became a rapper. Nas is Nas. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Nas, um, you've mentioned that after your graduation, that was in 2017. Yeah. That was this time you started, I mean, poetry and music. Mm. So at the time, uh, who, I mean, was a poet in this country that you look up to? At, 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 at the stage, I mean, who was your role model? I mean, that forced you, in fact, to join poetry. Yes, I can, I can, I can say my 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 role models is uh, magical Fofana and then and then and then Sidibe because you know they are the one who inspired me to do poetry. To be honest, they are the one. They are the one who you know opened all these gates for me because at the very day they saw me on stage after performing, you know, they called me, they took my number, you know, so they starting, you know. You know, taking me to poetry events and then stuff like that. So they are my mentors. They are my, you know, they are the guys who inspired me to do poetry. So I have to give them back all these credits to them, you know, yeah. and enough respect to them, brother. So we, we, we it, it is not like a team or stuff like that. It is a family now, you know. It is a family, and because of them, I even have connection with DJ. Just imagine that, imagine that, 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 that amazing soul, you know, who is so. You know, you know, cool. You know, ready to help. You know, youth much especially the on the ground. You know, so it is. It is just, just, just amazing. You know, DJ. Sometimes I just ask myself, what kind of human being is he? You know, he help for real. Hello. He help for real. He don't ask nothing in return. Whatsoever he do, he do it for free. He do it for free. So. He's there, he's there as a, as a brother, as a family, and he's helping. So, to be honest, me and the entire team or the entire family cannot pay him. Yeah, yeah. And I, I believe, Nasa, I can even attest to that um, because I've seen most of your, I mean, uh, your videos. I mean, even jokes, in fact, I mean, most of his videos um, are directed by, I mean, DJ yeah. and at no cost at times. Yeah. So, I mean, I uh, credit to uh, uh, DJ videos, yeah, I mean, uh, sure. for uh, his job well done. Yeah. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, Mariam is, I mean, listening very keenly. And I think she has some... <laughs> 
question that she wanted to throw on you. So let me allow her also to give some. Be reminded viewers that you are watching Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint, and we are here with Nas Jobis. So you told me earlier that most of your poems are recited in, are uh, you recite them in Wolof. Wolof yeah. So why do you recite most of your poems in Wolof? Yeah, this question is a very beautiful question, and I would love to answer this question. You know, yeah, because like, you know me, I was a fan, and being a fan. I was not only enjoying what people are doing as a fan, but I also learning, observing the way things are going. Do you understand? So I realized, you know, most of the poets, they were using the same style or the same lane or the same style of poetry. Do you understand? And then, if everybody is doing the same thing, it will be very hard to market yourself. Because it seems like we are repeating the same thing. Imagine today, eh? You give me this. At night, you give me this. Tomorrow morning, you give me this. Okay. Lunch, you give me this. Dinner, you give me this. Just one week, I will say, ah, I'm okay, I'm okay with this. Exactly. Be honest, because you are repeating the same thing. You are giving me the same thing I'm drinking. So at the end of the day, if I'm continue drinking this, I will not even have the taste of this. I will not have the, I will not enjoy drinking this. I would prefer drinking another oh, yeah. type than this one. Do you understand? That's exactly what happens to the industry. If you are, if you are, if you are providing benefit, you also provide benefit. I'm also providing benefit, and we have customers that are coming. The same place to buy benefit. One will market. One, one, one will be how his one will how to call it will market his yeah. own. And finish it early than the others because the others they were they might be affected based on based on how you sell based on how you sell if you are the first person to sell benetin today you are the first person to build to uh, sell benetin and the entire village do normally come and buy benetin before me and this gentleman here do you understand so after selling benetin for three months or one year he came do you understand and I also pop into the market. Do you understand? And you are still doing good. You are still doing good. That will never change your client. That will never make your client to run away from you. It will never happen. And we have people that are in the industry who are still who are, were here before and still they are doing good. So if you come and also want to follow the same lane, do you think you will have clients? You will never have clients. So you have to be very wise and observe the society. Do you understand? Have the idea and then do it in another way around that you can also have your own people in your own circle without disturbing them, without even competing them. And and, and, and with that, you will get what you want to get and he will also get what he want to get without disturbing each other. Do you understand? And you, you might even see the same fans because we all eat benetin and eat domoda. I will be listening to your poems at the same time listening to my poems. But if you are all doing benetin, they will only buy benetin and the other benetin will be there and spoiled. So it has no use. And the reason why we said we are poet and the reason why we said we are artists is to share information. And here, now, if you count one, two, three people, that person might not be, might not, how to call it, understand the English language. You count three, four, five, the six person might not understand the English language. So if we are all trying to share our information in English language, so how about those who cannot understand the English language? It seems like we are neglecting them. We are not, how to call it, trying to be justice, uh, trying to be fair. Do you understand? Because the information is not for me. Me writing a good lyrics, you know, reciting good poems at the end of the day, people are not benefiting from it. It has no use. It has no use. So you have to say things, you have to put it in a way that people will 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 how to will benefit from the message. Don't just do it just for the sake of people when I say, boy, it's for the angle. And, 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 and the reason why you are doing it cannot even understand the Angle. It has no use. We have people that out there who understand all of language than the Angle, the but, English. But the Gambia, in fact, now you see um, people, uh, 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 75% could speak Wolof. And exactly. in fact, uh, it is the uh, uh, most common uh, language. So exactly. thereby, communication is very easy uh, between people. Exactly. Yeah. And, and imagine, there are a lot of points that I met in the industry. Uh, they are not known. 
Do you know why? Because they are still following the same lane. They don't want to switch. They don't want to build their own unique style. Because they are repeating the same thing. They are repeating the same thing. They are repeating the same thing. So me, I realized that, look, this way is not the perfect. This is not the right way for me. I have to switch. I have to see how best I can do something, something unique. Because being unique and being yourself is pure and it's natural. And if you do that and you do it at your best, come on. You'll be loved by people and you'll be appreciated by people. And whatever you put in the market, it will be marketable. Trust me, just try. Whatever you put in the market, it will be marketable. Don't mind people that going out to the market there or to the supermarket and buy things there. And you are selling your product at the gate or at the Johnson or at the, within the community. The most important thing is you are making profit out of it. That's all. I think that's the important thing. That's the most important thing. And me, Alhamdulillah, today... I am loved by people. They are appreciating what I'm doing and they are demanding more and more and more. So why should I sweet to be to be to be like Shakespeare, to be like whatsoever else? You know, Shakespeare has done his quarter. Yeah. You know, and, and, and he was sharing his message on his own language. That's the English language. That's it. So I am Nas, I am not Shakespeare, I'm a Gambian. <laughs> so I have to share my message in our own local language for the benefits of my community, my country. Do you understand? And to be honest, you know, it's very hard. You it's very hard to, to see some spoken word poetry videos on TVs, you know, week in, week out, and then stuff like that. So Alhamdulillah, all my spoken word videos are played in all TVs in this country. All my spoken words videos are played and people are demanding more and more and more. So I am proud of, you know, you know, you know, you know the style that I am doing, meaning the style of poetry that I am doing is not because of I cannot speak English. I can, I, I can, I can do better. Though I am not, I am not very good at English, but I can do better. I can send a message whereas people you can understand, understand the language. That's the most important, important thing. But I prefer writing most of my poems in Wolof for the local people. That's all. I'll also try and understand the whole of language. <laughs> good, try that. Yeah. Uh, it will be very good if you, if you, if you yeah. need to do so. So, Nas Jovis, where do you normally record your poems and music? Yeah, another great show, another great producer, one of the best in this country. He has all the quality of uh, to be a producer. He is great, young, talented, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then how to call it, energetic. He's a cool guy, a brother, a family by the name Jaws. Jaws music. Jaws <laughs> guy. Yep, yep correct. Jaws is great. I, I, I think 99.1 of my production, I did it in Jaws studio. Yes, because, you know, it's not easy. He's the one who, like, how to call it, who can give me what I want. And as a upcoming artist, it's very rare. It's very difficult to be an upcoming artist, you know, going to another producer's to record for you, and you got still got what you want. It is very difficult. You go there, they will just you know chop your money. You'll be calling them. They will be telling you today, tomorrow, before you get your song or before you get your product next month. So as a your upcoming artist, you wanna you wanna progress. You 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 wanna see development. You wanna see changes in your career. And you, because just because of one soul is how to call it affecting you one soul is trying to see how trying to pull you back okay. or drag you back just because of his or her interest you already pay them once or you might all be able to pay them all the money so at the end of the day they don't care so you are you'll be the one who is busy calling them texting them my song my poem my song my poem so before you get it wow because i i got i got a brother who was you know launching an ep just imagine he have paid 75% of the price of the EP. But because of the, pro the producer was very selfish and the individual is, he don't care, he could, not launch, he could not launch his EP because he could not get all his song on time. Yes. Serious. So you see, it is very difficult to be an upcoming artist. You know, we all wanna, we all want to be on top, you know, giving our fans a best and a high quality production. But look, Yao is better than 50 of them. I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah, big no up to Yao. you, Yao. Yao is guy. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, so Nas Jobis, you, you are a teacher. 
Yeah, I don't know how do you know that. <laughs> yeah. How do you know that? How do you know that I'm a teacher? That, so I know that you are a oh. teacher. You are a musician and a poet. Yes. So how do you manage? To I I remember I remember my master was telling me, Mr. Ba, you are trying to kill three three birds in one stone. I don't know how you're going to do that because yesterday I I went to his office. I told Mr. Ba, Mr. Ba, these days you are coming to school late. Very well, Mr. Ba. What is your problem? I know you are trying to run away from me, but me I know everything. I do know I see your flyers on social media and stuff like, and stuff like that. I just laugh and keep quiet. I told you, Master, don't worry. I will come and explain everything to you. And he said, no problem. I'm waiting. So I think 30 minutes before we close, I went to his office. I told you, Master, you know, I explain everything to him. I told me I knew everything. But you are trying to kill three birds with one stone. Hmm? Hope you will be able to do that. I'll tell him, Master, it's great. I'm just trying to manage and see our best. But I told him, look, I'm having an interview. Tell me what again, which interview again. So we are having that pull up who's there. He's a cool guy, though. He was just trying to make some jokes and then stuff like that. He said, no problem. I understand you. So you can go and then have your interview, you know. And then I'm praying for you so that it will, very su- it will, be, it will be a very successful interview, you know. Yeah. So I think it is it's, it's something that doubts many people. How can you be a poet, a rapper, a teacher, you know, so it's not easy. Yeah, and, and that's my question. How do you manage to do all these three things together? Yeah, first of all, when you come to uh, music and poetry, most of my works, lyrically, like when you, like, like, like lyrically, when I'm writing my lyrics, you know, I do most of my works at night, at night. So then I was going to school in the morning, but I realized that time it doesn't favor me because you cannot spend the whole night writing, rehearsing, practicing your songs or your poems. Before you go to bed, it's almost 5 p.m., 5 a.m. rather, and then, you know, wake up by 6 or by 7 going to school. You know, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot do that. Even if you force yourself, just give yourself three or four days, you get sick. Do you understand? So I realized that one does in favor me and does in favor my kids down there, you know. So I decided to change the schedules of my work. So I went back to the school. I explained that to my head. Look, I cannot be coming to school in the morning and this and this and this and this. And this. And so just try and help me. I didn't tell him directly this is the problem. But, you know, I just tell him I cannot be coming to school in the morning. So if you can help me, I come to school in the afternoon. That one will favor me. So it is not easy to be to be to be to be working and then at the same time, you know, to be an artist and at the same time doing music and poetry. So that's how it's not easy, but I program myself. I make so that I achieve all. Even if it is not hundred percent, but at least seventy-five or eighty percent of it. I, I, I achieve it because I make sure that um, by 11, I'll be starting preparing myself to go to school. And when I close school oh, by sub six, and then before I reach home, it's almost a seven. And then from seven, I will be taking bath, have my lunch and relax until uh, around 11, 12. Do you understand? When at uh, that time I start, I'll be starting, you know, writing form or to write um, a song. So I will be there till three, four, five. You know, I if it's around five, I just pray and go to bed, and then that's that's how it is. So when it's during weekend, you know, if I'm have a, if I have a program, I just program myself. You know, time myself, prepare everything, go and have the event, and come back and rest. So that's it. It's not easy, much especially going to a far place without you know your own car. You know, coming back home late. Sometimes you have to pay town trip, and you know us. Upcoming, you go to show, you are not paid, you are not given, you are, you, even a fare is a problem. So, but this is what we found in the industry. So we have to be patient, though it is not favorable, we have to patient and go with it. We just believe one day or the other, things will be fine. So that's it. That is that is great. I and mean, I, I, I love the courage in you. Thank that you. surely I one day will come. Um, no, so, um, um, have you ever performed on stage? Yeah, so many times, so many times, so many times, much especially now. Alhamdulillah, I'm having platforms. I do normally go, you know, perform, so myself, you know, much especially this platform is also another great platform. I'm good. So it is, it is good, Alhamdulillah. I have contacts many places, you know, they call me boy. Come on, I want you to come and perform on this platform. Yes, I do go and perform poetry there, music there. So, alhamdulillah, it's okay. 
Gunas, um, how do you feel uh, being on stage performing either music or poetry? How do you feel at the time? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good, you know, because that stage, you know, is is where you can sell yourself. Is where you can, you know, you know, you know, how to call it, make your fans happy. You know, seeing your loved ones, your fans. You know, because because you know that's the only place that you can you can sell yourself. You know, your fans will be seeing you, you'll be entertaining them and they'll be happy, you know. So I also feel happy and feel proud of myself being on stage, you know, seeing fans, you know, cheering, you know, celebrating, supporting, you know, calling your names or angles of the, the, the play. So it's always amazing, you know, and enjoyable. I really enjoy myself on stage, either performing music or performing poetry. So it's always great, you know. Okay, um, now, so now we'll move on to, I mean, uh, one of your proposed, I mean, album, Jen Sare Kunta. Um, from research or knowing that, uh, seen from flyer from people that, I mean, you wanted to hold a show, I mean, uh, that is, I mean, the Jen Sare Kunta. But I later learned that it was not able to be, I mean, uh, launched or it, I mean, even uh, was not, I mean, uh, 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 held at the time. So could you tell us uh, why do you think, I mean, it failed, I mean, Jen Sare Kunta? Yeah, you know, in fact, after started here, um, uh, Sare Kunta is my village, is where it is, it is, it is, it is where my you know dad came from. So it is, it is also another great village, you know, you know. So as a poet, as an artist, you know, you know, we have. How to call it? We have that uh, strength, or how to call it, that power to bring people together. Do you understand? To share information and to tell people about a lot of things in a one day, in one hour, in 30 minutes. A poet can do that. An artist can do that if you program yourself and then organize yourself. So I believe, you know, much especially with the new generation, we need to know a lot about our culture. We need to know a lot about our village, much especially the elders that were here before us. And currently the elders that are in the village and doing something great in the village. Sometimes people, if you don't go to them and ask them, they will never tell you. Do you understand? They will never tell you. So I think it is the high time for us to go out and see the elders and ask them about the blade, ask them about the culture, and ask them about themselves, and ask them people that were here, our grandparents that were here before, and what have they done, and what have they left here, and what have they achieved, and what were the struggles that they have been encountering in the blade. It is good to know, because if you want development, in any place or in any, any area, you need this information. You need this, you need all this information so on the right. table. So from there, after learning all this information, having them here, there, you can see how best you can also, you know, proceed on the project. But, you know, you don't know anything about it or you know a little thing about it and you just want to do something, you know, you, you, you might fail or 95% of your of, of your of your object objectives you, you you might fail all so the reason why i am calling on jehan sare kunda mean let us go to kunteya in fula jehan sare kunda jehan mean let's go where to kunteya let's go to kunteya and going to kunteya it means a lot it means a lot you know you're going to kunteya to meet your family you're going to kunteya to see the environment you're going to kunteya to learn a lot and learn a lot about kunteya do you understand? And then going to Kuntea, you're not going alone, but you are going with people and different kind of people, family members, friends, and loved ones. And you are taking them there. They are, you are also making them aware and making them to know about lot, a lot about your village. Do you understand? And those who are you are taking there, they are also learning a lot about the village. And others who could not have the opportunity to meet their family, you are, they are also going there to meet their family. And those who could not have the opportunity to know something about Kuntea, by going there, they will also know something 
speaking about Kuntia. And then we will also will have the opportunity to meet some elders and ask them about the village and ask them the history about the village and ask them the history uh, about our culture. And what are the possible things that we can do in order to how to call it, develop the village? Do you understand? So this is the reason why I am calling on Jehen Sare Kunta. And then coming back to the other question is you ask why the why am um, the first uh, program I scheduled uh, failed? Um, uh, it did beyond uh, my control because what happened is like uh, my own brother passed away. I think a week or a two weeks before the event. Yeah, passed away. So you know that one. Obviously, I cannot you know go ahead with the program. So that's the only reason why you know we decided to postpone the program. Until I was like maybe after the forty days, I will see how best I would reschedule the the, 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 the the program and then the venue because the only venue was at at, at the village Puntea. But you know now you know everybody is busy. We are going to work and there's no holidays. And now the only holiday that we have is the summer. And the summer, you know, village people are always busy going to the farm and stuff like that. So you cannot ask them to stop you know going to the farm and come and attend your program. So it is not fair and it's, it doesn't even make any sense. So here, for that being the case, without you know, I say without wasting much time, you know, because we have already started um, promoting the event so it's just that you know uh, some some weeks uh, we just have the program and then this incident happened so you know we just need to continue with the promotion almost we have done a lot so we just need to you know change the date and change the venue so for this time you know we're still going back to the village and then but this time we are doing the volume one in the in, in, in uh in combo here and then that's going to be on the 10th june this coming saturday and then the volume two we are going back to the village that's going to be after Tobaski, third day Tobaski, we are going back to the village. So I am also talking to some people, you know, among the family members to see how best we can, you know, form a very strong team and we will be doing this annually. Meaning every year we will be doing this. Yeah, so that's it. That is that is that is great to know. Yeah. And then uh, may his uh, soul uh, rise in perfect faith. I mean, uh, now as job is now, let's move into uh, I mean uh, the main concern that is the forthcoming album that is to be launched on the 10th of June at the Inside a Training Center uh, uh, in Sinjo Alaji. Yeah. Uh, Nurse Jobis, uh, could you tell us I mean, the title of this album? Yeah, it, it is not an album. Like, like maybe perhaps maybe the preparation, the way I am organizing this or the way I am preparing this, people think it is an album. It's not an album. It's just a concert. I just have a couple songs for, 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 for this concert. But maybe that's why they think it is an album. But it is not an album. It's, it's just a concert. It's just a concert. So, you know, the same thing, right? Just like what I have said, you know, I I, I um, like how to call it. The title of the concert is Jehen Sare Kunta. Jehen Sare Kunta is the title of the concert. Jehen, let's go to Kunta. You know, and, and I told you, and I told you deep, you know, the reason why I said Jehen Sare Kunta. Jehen Sare Kunta means a lot. Yeah, so that is it. That's the title of the concert. Jehen Sare Kunta means let's go to Kunta. Okay, um, Nas, um, we all know how it, uh, how it feels in the country here, organizing a concert or any other events, mm -hmm. uh, most importantly, uh, poetry and uh, music. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, do you have any sponsor? I mean, are people sponsoring <clears throat> your this uh, particular event or not? Yeah, um, you, you have said something very much, uh, which is very much important, you know, much especially if you're an upcoming artist or upcoming poet to have a sponsor is always difficult. But I knew this before. You know, I knew this, and I don't want to be, be, be hard to be hundred percent, you know, relying on people and stuff like that. So I was like, look, I have to do this sacrifice. Either I have sponsor, or I don't have sponsor. I have to push this show. I have to make this show happen. So I have to prepare myself in uh, such a way that you know, even if I don't have sponsor, I will able to do it. Yeah. So that is it. So it is not easy. I do. I don't have sponsors. To be honest, I don't have sponsors. You know, but I have people who give me these little stuff, you know, in order to help myself just to see that the event is successful. But like production, you know, and most of the stuff is done by myself, to be honest. Yeah, I sponsor my sponsoring myself. Production, you know, in, in, in all kind of production, video shooting and recording, I did everything by myself. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I have people who who is trying to give me some little, you know, money in order to add it on top of what i have just to see that successful is uh the event is successful yeah alhamdulillah yeah, may it be successful uh, inshallah. okay this one is a general question as a gambian citizen so what do you see in the country's development is it going forward or backward um 
it's difficult to answer this question. <laughs> now, but to be honest, do you know, for me, for me personally, I will tell you, for me personally, it is not working. Personally, it is not working. If you compare this country to another country, you will realize that it is not working, much especially when you come to the industry. Either poetry or music. It is very difficult. Because, like, you know, Gambians, for us to sell our store, to, to sell ourselves outside the country is always a problem. And most especially, artists in these countries are even finding it difficult, find it very, very, very much difficult to establish themselves. And most especially, the upcoming artists. So, that alone will tell you things are not working the way. We expecting it to be. These are things that we should not, you know, find a lot of difficulties or a lot of challenges and then stuff like that. But because of the support, the support is 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 is, is lacking. For me, for me, my answer is it is not working. For me, though others will say it is working because of they are benefiting. They are okay. They are cool. They are fine the way it is. But you have to look at the majority. Before you say, yes, it is working, it is okay, it is cool, you have to look at the majority. Most of this, today you count only five artists that are earning 500,000 or 1 million. Five, five artists, you count them. Five artists, you count them in this country. And now you count which poet is earning 100,000 or even a 50,000. A 50,000. And people are working a day, having 50,000, having 100,000. And you are an artist. Five years, six years in the industry, you cannot even have a 50,000 in your account. You cannot even have a 100,000 in your account. Is that working? It is not working. Just because you are putting on a nice clothes, you are popular, everybody is celebrating you, you think that is okay. It is not okay. So this is the problem in this Gambia. When, you, when they see you putting on a nice clothes, you are on TV, everybody is seeing you, you are, every, you are, you are in every platform. But at the end of the day, hunger, you don't even have a strong account. You cannot even help yourself financially when you want to have a program. You know, you want to record. You know, most of this point, or most of the ads, if you ask them what is their major problem, is production. We cannot have a good production. We cannot pay, we cannot pay good production. So imagine, and if others, others will be there, they're saying, yes, now the music gambia, mungi ba, mungi them. Hamga, wa poetry gambia, mungi ba, mungi them. And if you ask them, they cannot even tell you, yes, my am 10,000, this is my account. 10,000, this is my account. 10,000 is and they are every platform, they are in every platform, they are in every platform, every event, they are there. But you cannot even have a 10,000, a correct 10,000 in your account. And you are still saying, wow, muni ba. Tell me ba. Tell me ba. Let's say the truth. And uh, they will be in the industry for five, six, seven years. It's very hard. So doing this masla masla ha stuff, hamga, is what really killing us. Because we know the pain. We suffer the pain, but we don't want to explain it out. We see how best we can just try to cover it, you know, to make it nice. At the end of the day, when you are lonely, when you are alone in your room, you are not happy. Because you are thinking of the next day, where are you going to get fair to go to the other place? Or where are you going to get fair to go to work? You are thinking of your breakfast. You are thinking of your lunch. You are thinking of your dinner. You are thinking of production. You are thinking of how can I learn my album? You cannot even sponsor yourself to have an event and you say, Aferu Muni Ba. You read later, you take it to the you take it to the place for donation. They will not sponsor you. And you still say, Dafa Muni Ba. You go to events, you perform, you, you go home without even a DLC, and you still say, Muni Industry Ba. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So, you swing both, you need to be a little you need to be a little Because if I sit here, camera by my face. The camera is facing me. Do you, if, inst instead of my work, I see the truth. The, the challenges that I am facing, now I'm telling the whole country I am cool, but my man is bad boy, my boy, my man is over cool. If you, if you go to someone else and ask the individual to help, do you think that individual will help you? Will help because because I already I said that yeah, yeah. Because I, I look cool, man is all bad, man is all dollar bad, man is all to be bad. So what can I do? My man is cool. He will believe that, okay, now it's cool. But putting on nice clothes, you know, being on, uh, how to call it, TV, you know, you are shown everywhere. That doesn't mean you are cool. But if you fake yourself 
out there and pretending as if you are cool, if you go to them and ask them to help you, they will not help you. And people will even come to you and ask for help, whilst you don't have. And if you also pretend like telling, pretending, giving them out because you want them to know that you have, that just I mean yourself. yourself. So it's better we come together as one family. We say the truth. We say the challenges that we are facing. It is not working. Let's all say it together. It is not working. So maybe we have someone else there who also understand our situation and come and help. But we cannot be pretending telling people wow, muni ba, muni ba, take a bow. So at the end of the day, you want help and they don't help you and you start to get angry, you get mad. Ah, you buka mul ma ko, you do need a The fake yo, the fake yo, you are the very you are the cause of it. So sometimes I see people they will be telling wow, muni industry buying them, poetry industry buying them, muni tane tane fan. Tala mi tane ut music industry muni ba muni tane fi tala mi tane ut. It's only few that are benefiting. So, benefiting. so look at the rest out there. They cannot even get nothing. And those who are saying, muni cool, muni cool, muni cool, you call them. You tell them your problem. The next day you call them. They will not pick your call. And you will still, and you will still proud to say, that, wow, muni cool, muni cool. And you are... Sometimes, man, huh? it's crazy. things are very much crazy. I think we have to change our mentality and the way we, 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 we take this industry. This is, going, this, is, this is serious. We might take it because, just, because you just want to impress someone. Just want to impress someone. Huh? Your own pain, your own pain. You keep, you prefer keeping that pain in you just to impress someone who is enjoying. What benefit now? Like? That individual will never come and solve your problem. So voice out your problem. Let people know what is your problem and let them come and help you. And through that, you voice it out your problem. So you don't know. Someone is facing the same problem. And you are also giving that guy the opportunity. But if you pretend telling the people, the Gamian people like poetry industry buying bar, Gamian music industry buying bar, how many people are you killing on that? I killing that spirit. Yeah, killing that spirit. I'm saying that I'm, 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 I'm killing myself walking and still now someone enjoy you know, it. And then so I'm here. we have, if you have such kind of opportunities, let us say the truth. We know about that. We are suffering. We are suffering. So it is better we say the truth, we speak the truth. Let them help us. Let them come. Sponsors, let them come. Let people, individual people come and help us. Then sona. Fiken amul fit dara. But if you pretend like yo danga am tefeka yo amulo, at the end of the sabo bangai sona. Man, I'm a dara. Me, I am saying this true experience. I'm not saying this. If you if you if you if you feel like or if you believe like you know my story, the story that I'm sharing, you are also experiencing the same story. Fine. It's fine. You can come and support. You, you, you can share the information. But if you feel like you are not in, you, you, your story and my story is not in line, it's still fine. This is my opinion. This is my own story. Mm -hmm. So it's good we say what is in our heart than pretending ourselves and faking ourselves out. Yeah, and, yeah. Nas, I think uh, that is very important. I mean, yeah. uh, this is even affecting people. I mean, you've seen that, I mean, what is uh, right, I mean, you try to deviate from that, saying things that are just kind of yeah. fake. So I think uh, that's important oh, that I mean uh, people ought to be on media and I mean see what's happening. If somebody's not going well, stop being there, being a hypocrite, saying that it is well. While if you go home, I'm sitting in, at your home, start saying take a media, and if you go out on the media, start saying everything is okay. okay. So, okay. so now, nice, I mean, now let's move on. Uh, what is your expectation uh, on your this? I mean, uh, concern that is uh, uh, to be held as uh, uh, What is your expectation? Um, I'm expecting family members to come and support. Friends, fans, you know, I'm expecting, you know, let us just pray that, you know, they don't disappoint me and they don't disappoint themselves. Because this is not um, NAS alone. It is about the whole country. This is about the whole community. This is about the whole, whole Kuntea. So I'm expecting each and every one of you, you know, to come and support yeah, I'm expecting. That's my expectation. So, I mean, uh, what are some of the preparations that are putting in place to ensure that, I mean, this is a very successful concert? Yeah, I, I am doing my best. I am doing my best, you know. I have, I have, I have a couple songs for the event, you know. I am, I am going to TVs, you know, other platforms in order to see my information, you know, to, to, to call on people to come and support, you know. You know, and this platform is also among them, you know, one of the greatest platforms in this country. So you don't only support NAS here, but also support Fine TV. They are also empowering the youths, you know, they are supporting, you know. I think I, even your boss met me, you know, come and give me a hug, you know, and took my dial. So, you know, that's how we started communicating. And today I am here having an interview in his own TV. So, no respect to you, Kekuta, you know. Yeah, so I'm doing a lot. There are things that, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't reveal them. 
when you come on the D day, you know, you will see something great. And I promise, you know, you will be amazed and then you will be inspired on that day. Because Nas, me personally, myself, I am training, I am rehearsing, I'm doing all what I can do so that on that day I can give my fans the best performance ever. Because I will be there to recite poetry. You know, I will be there to perform musical performance. So, so you just come there, and others will be there to give you drama, give you comedy. Others will be there to do dancing and then stuff like that. So, and great people will also attend the events, and many, many, many people love one's friends. You know, some great poets will be there. You know, just to mention a few, I, you have you will be having Barhama and Maria Macham on stage. You know, you will have um, Genius Jaha, you will have Cherno Gay, myself, Magical Fofana. You know, you will have poets. You have a lot of great poets, you know, and then you have City Comedy, you know, TYPG, you know, a lot of them. So you just, and Home Talent, you have a lot of them. They are very good and young. They are very talented. So you come and you'll be entertained and then you will be really inspired on that day. Trust me, we are working. We are working very hard just to see that the event is successful. So fans, please, the tickets is just like, the advance um, is already out and people are buying. So it's better you rush now, you go and buy before it is finished. It's just like advance 150, get 200, and then VIP for 400 dollars. Here, just to tell you the direction, you know, it's just Johnson Ahmad Bar, Sinchu Alaji. Then from there, you go straight to Inside Training Center. It is not far. You know, if you are coming around Westfield and when you have, when you, when you, when you enter into a vehicle that comes to Costero, just tell the driver, send you alert, just Johnson Ahmad Bar. They, they, they will alert you, you alert from there, then you go straight. If you are from Costero and you just ask the driver, Johnson Ahmad Bar, still, you know, you alert at Johnson Ahmad Bar, then you go straight. So it is not difficult to find the location. See you, thank you. Yeah, Naz, um, I think that is something very important and I have to commend you for that. <clears throat> uh, being uh, a young man and a promising one, uh, I think this is for the first time seeing that, I mean, uh, a young man who is a poet at the same time, an artist. So I think your this even would be something that would be very yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I think, mean, two, I think, two in I, one. Think, I think I'm the first person doing this in this yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, from I am, I am the first person doing this in this country. Yes, if we have someone who, who have done it, me, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't how to hear anything about that. Do you understand? So to me, I'm the first person doing this, organizing an event, and me myself, I will be performing poetry and I will perform music. music a different yeah. genre of music. I'll be rapping, I'll be singing. Do you understand? I'll be rapping and I'll be singing. And I will give you a spoken word. In, in interesting, different, in, interesting. In different languages. Yes, and now and now oh, and now we have to take a look now. I mean to one of your music, uh, which is uh letter uh uh, Lutis, I mean, letter Lutis, letter Yeah, so we, we, I think we, 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 we have to take a little vibe from that. Cool. Then later we, I mean, now we come to that. Cool, <laughs> cool. Tana Lutata Le Bismillah, Samarak 
Emna, Luigi Perron. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, I mean, uh, this one touched my heart, man. Um, uh, it is a, 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 a music that touches my heart. And then, me, all their souls are resting perfect amen, peace. Amen, amen, I mean, now, could you tell us uh, a little about how do you compose this song? How does this <laughs> song, I mean, came about? I mean, and then you release it out now. Cool. Um, this is one of the great songs that I've ever wrote. Lyrically, it is standard and it's so emotional, you know. I wrote this song three days after losing my brother. Oh, my late brother. You know. I'm even dedicating them, this event um, to him. I even uh, play a charity charity game yeah, yeah, at, at, yeah, the I, at, at, at the school um, field, Mindau, this last Sunday. Yo, so, you know, I'm dedicating this event, you know, for him. And t-shirts are out, you know, so you can go and buy t-shirts just for $250. It's only just to support, you know. Um, I'm doing this for my late brother. I'm dedicating this event for my late brother, so I'm also urging each and everyone to come and support, much much especially his fan, because he's also a footballer, you know, very young, you know, you know, and who lost football, you know. So I lost him um January twenty twenty fourth of this year. So may his soul continue to rest in perfect peace, you know. So I wrote this um um um, um this song. I started wrote, writing this song um, three, 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 three days after when he, you know, passed away. So that's how the song came about. And I'm dedicating this song, you know, to him. And this is a song that I'm about to release just this days before the event. The video is already done. So we are just, you know, waiting for, you know, it to be done finally. And then we say it in all platforms. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice. So what are some of the improvements do you think Gambia culture and arts should do? Um, you see, it is very difficult. For example, today, you are wearing a badge or a sack of a fine TV. Do you understand? And you are telling people, this is what fine TV do. You know, and these are the things that we can do in order to, to, to take fine TV to the next level. You know, and they are not seeing you to do it exactly. They are not seeing you, you know, you know working hard to, to, to see fine TV is a successful TV or is one of the best TVs. So do you think you will be able to convince people, you know, to appreciate fine TV or to love fine TV? No. You understand? So you see the reason why I am here, you know, I'm saying all these things. I am happy. I am comfortable because of, you know, Fine TV is doing great. Fine TV, you know, loves people. Fine TV is ready to support by all means. Do you understand? So if I go out there, I will tell boy, try and have five uh, interview. Uh, displaying fine TV. They are very good, but they do something great. And there are people there, you have nice people there, you have cool people there. Do you understand? Because I have seen that in your eye. I have seen that you are doing it and, you know, you are doing your best just to see that you are helping your, your upcoming artists or in whatever form, you know, in whatever they are doing. I see you are, you are not only helping artists, but even in a lot of talents, you know, in different, different, different areas. So you understand? So, and through this, it will also help find TV to be a better TV in this country. And keep it up. Keep on doing the, the, the real thing. So exactly the same thing applies to the, to the arts and culture. You know, it is very difficult. If in fact you hardly see them out, you know, sensitizing people, our arts and our culture, you know. If they really want to help our culture, more especially the arts, Today, the biggest platform, for example, now we take example, the biggest platform in, in, in the music industry was Open Mic. Three to two years now, we don't hear Open Mic. It's dead. Where are they? Where is the art and culture? What have they done? Someone from nowhere, an individual passing, now is organizing one of the biggest musical platform in this country, best of the best. Individual person is doing that. 
individual person is doing that. Best of the best is now one of the biggest musical platform in this country. Where is open mic? It's gone and it is dead. So it is crazy. And you still want the youths to work hard when we don't have the platform, when we don't have the opportunity. We are not seeing the light. We are in the dark. So it is very much difficult. And that individual alone cannot do it. By now, we, we, we should have, we should have, have a lot of platform. Even if you don't have the opportunity to perform at best of the best, you will have the, the platform to perform somewhere else, bigger than best of the best. Or, even, 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 even kind of be some, like, uh, like, like, like best of the best. But this is the only biggest platform right now in this country when you come to the music industry. Open mic is dead. Do you understand? So, where are they and what can they do for the artists? Which platform have they, have they provide for the artists? So you see, you are saying this, you are standing, you, you, you are representing the youth, most especially the artists on this aspect, and you are nowhere to be seen. So it's difficult. It's, this, is, this, is the, this is the biggest challenges that we are, we are facing. When you go to culture, the same things. We, we, it is very, you, you go to places, Go to Fort Black. It is not attractive. Go to James Island. It is not attractive. Go to many historical places in this country. It is not attractive. And they are receiving millions by the name of the country, the arts and culture. What have they done? They are, it's, this is the problem now. They are there for the youth. They are there for the industry. They are there for the everybody. But they are, where, they are nowhere to be seen. So this is the problem. This is the biggest challenge that we are facing. And if you don't change the system, my friend, we won't go anywhere. And this is the reason why the Gambian artists, the Gambian artists cannot sell their products on international. Because if we, even the arts and culture don't structure themselves internationally. Standard. Standard. Because they, are, they, should, they should be the one who to give links to the artists, to the poets, to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the people that also, how to call it, centralized or based on culture or whatsoever else, you know, they should be the right person, you know, or be in the right position to, to, to provide links for them to sell their product outside the world, outside the country. But if artists don't make efforts, you know, to sell their product outside, who will be there to do that for you? No one. So it's crazy. So this is the biggest challenges that we are facing in this country. Hey, Nas Jobis, I mean, viewers, just to remind you, this is Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint. And as you see, I mean, we're having a very interesting and a factual discussion uh, with uh, uh, with Nas Jobis. Um, uh, a one in three, <laughs> a teacher, <laughs> a poet, and at the same time, a rapper. So I think that's very interesting. Nas, now, I mean, mm. as you are about to launch uh, uh, your concert mm. on May 10th, uh, June 10th at, uh, at, uh, at the Inside Training Center uh, in Sincho Alaji. Mm. Nas, uh, what message uh, will you have to send to your fans and to all poetry lovers and music lovers in this country? Yeah, first of all, you know, I have to, like, you know, oh, it's each and every one of them, you know, for common support. Yes, the common support. You know, this is my first program that I am organizing. So I'm expecting all of them. You know, even if you cannot make it, you know, there are ways you can do the support. You know, you might send someone or you know, you know, you know, or even ask people to come and support. It's also part of supporting. You know, so in any way that you can do just to support Nas Jobis, please just try and do it and support Nas Jobis. I will just repeat this. We will have we will, we will have a lot of talents on that day. A lot of people performing. We will do music, drama, comedy, poetry, you know, a lot of stuff. So you come and support, come and enjoy yourself and come. You have a lot of people that will inspire you. The deal is 10 June. And I'm and I'm and I'm, and I'm saying this. When you come, you won't regret of coming. You will surely enjoy it and you will even ask us to do more. <laughs> and inshallah, we will surely do that, inshallah. Interesting. And I hope so. It will be a very successful program. Nas, I mean, now to your, I mean, to your bosom comrades, your colleagues, I mean, the Jukes, the Magical, Poets, the Bay, Fofuna, and all that. What message do you have to, and DJ, in fact, what message do you have for them? I've been people, uh, persons who are with you in all this struggle, I mean, doing whatever to make sure this show is successful. What message do you have for them? 
Yeah. The only message that I have to tell them is like, you know, I have to even thank them because, you know, they have done a lot. They have done, done a lot for me, much especially, you know, where when you come to the preparation. You know, since I've started this um, concert, promoting this concert day in, day out, you know, we are together. They are helping me, pushing, you know, to see that um, the event is a very successful event. So the only message that I have to tell them is like, let's always keep it real. And then to be honest, me, I cannot pay you guys. Even giving a million, each and every one of you in your account, that doesn't mean I can, I can, I, I have paid you. But, you know, I, I will leave everything in the hands of God and God will pay you, inshallah. And then, and then, and then, and then how to call it? I'm saying a big thanks to you. I'm saying a big, big, big thanks to you, much especially for Fana, City Bay, Magical, DJ and my own nigga, Mara, you know, though he's not here, but every time we do call a boy, Nakala boy, Sasobi boy, we be like, boy, we book a new white time because he's also working, you know, you know, so it's not easy and he's not here, he's around Bara and then he always want to come. He came a um, week before last just to support me, you know, and then, you know, hoping to see him Friday, inshallah. So the only thing that I can say is a big thanks to you and enough respect to you, you know. Everything is in the heart of God. Finally, to Fine TV, what do you have to tell them? Yeah, Fine TV. Fine TV is now my TV. <coughs> you know, Fine TV. Kekuta, Kekuta is just, you know, a great soul, to be honest. You know, since he took my number, you know, we do normally communicate every time. And anytime I see my flyer to him, you know, he always helped me to see and promote it. But all it was someone, ah, boy, 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 yeah, busy boy. You know, garments, one thing about garments, the moment we start having high break, it's Starting always a problem. Noise, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the moment we start ha starting having high break, it's always a problem. You will be calling them, they will be like, I'm busy, even if they are not busy. Me, yeah, I know. You text them, you know, tell them your problem, they will be, you know, giving you another story because of hype. So, but, you know, Kekuta is, is not like that person. Anytime I see my flyer, you know, he tries to help me and text and, you know, ask me to keep it up, you know, I'm on the right track and stuff like that, you know. And he even told me, boy, I would love to have you one day um, at my TV to have interview with you and stuff like that. So I tell you, yeah, no problem. So last, yeah, yeah, finally, yeah. I am here, you know. <laughs> and big thanks to Kekuta. And I'm praying, you know, praying to God, you know, this TV will, uh, so that it become one of the best TVs in this country. And then hoping before end of this year, you know, you have all the materials that you needed in this TV here, you know. And inshallah, Rabbi, I know, brother, you will you will have it by the before end of this year. Inshallah, Rabbi, we just um next so we make more duas, you know, and put more efforts into our works, and then things will be fine, inshallah. And then my <laughs> big boss, and then um these uh, beautiful ladies here, you know, will surely one day be a professional, you know, doing their things at the higher level, you know. So this is this is this is this is this is real, you know. Starting it at a very, you know, come doing your stuff, you know, open it by at a very low key, you know, doing it on the ground, grinding, you know, learning a stuff. See, if if you, if you if you are another um TV, you will not have this opportunity to learn. You are doing this and then you are working. The same times you are also learning and you are also exposing yourself. You see, you you, you are trying to have all this at once. Maybe if you are in another TV, it's just because of by name, they are, it is big or stuff like that. You don't even have the opportunity to do this. And you are doing this, you are underground, you are grinding, you are doing it real. All us are in big TVs, they could not have this opportunity just because of they are there, just because of by name and then stuff like that. You know, and you are here having all this opportunity. Your boss is there sitting, observing you, you know, teaching you how to do this stuff. This is great. Mm -hmm. You know, being on the ground, being real and doing it at your best, there's nothing better than this. Trust me, there's nothing better than this. Me, sometimes, uh, people even get mad at me. Nas, I want to help you this and this. I'll tell them, no, me could. Because I believe I can do it. And I can get it by my own. Do you understand? Because at the end of the day, you know, you, you learn a lot. You try, you fail. You try, you fail. You try, you fail. When you get it, you know how to use it. And you know how to go with it. You know, without, 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 without a lot of pressures and then stuff like that. So the only thing that I can tell you is keep doing it. 
you know, never give up, and and, and don't don't be carried by people who are at the at the, at the, at the higher level or you know bigger 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 televisions in this country or around the world. You know, they all have you know place where they have started. Mm -hmm. So this is just a, a place where you can learn. Just take it as a school. You know, you learn a lot, and then from here, you know, next year or two three years, you know, you will be big. Indeed, indeed. Inshallah. Thank no. you very much, Nas Jovis, and then um. Um, yeah, of course, NASA, the final message will be a, a fine poem. To the fine end. poem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. No problem. <clears throat> I'll give you this latest poem. It is a new poem that I wrote, you know. It's, it, I'm, I'm just, you know, um, start, I just started, you know, performing it not long ago, you know, but it's a new poem, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> now you go. <laughs> and... A S J O B I S, the young writer, the best. From the street, I learned the best. Tema wakati be holy face, man si benet best be best. Yeah, we super sangu set Julie Nyadi Raka talk to some gangu nai. Hell to hell ni bop chin de genai be lie, need to lie. Li sama held in your to be bid out and the febro si da kun bismila ma chapu sama hali ma chinda. Binad benen bata hell li sama hell di hellat li sama hell mun reguk. Or the zavel li fina regak. Hola ma ki yore dag di jam ke chinak. Dere du walangan beta aksukura ni mumete ku ken fale wul chumbe di ni met di ginko dundulu meti. Survival of the fittest ku neri jai samoro mala gine meti yuj. Bae sa khel. Te kham na te ami kharul ken dey da wak wites fudang akutes si balandok di jal. Bae si yom al kiyam yala du lai ken kudes. Ludes. Manasi la tu des. Then you buy a healthy and oxy new sagote def dunk and dunk sunk. La de gsalu, du guna tank tank con dunk. Si bobu tank tank sama yaram liu. Sama not be. Bagatuma de gdu fat na du. Du gain na du. Du rape na du. Then you delu wat for new bow. Jelat su new dina lubasi adak chasan. Sierra tegil len you yere. Marnan baganan bum you tahanan potit. Hey bagalek bum you tahalek kungoin. Katin dohak lek du tak new team suf de kumur. Yalan you binit de binden you suf. De yalamon ken na kep. Moy tak su new jay de lal suf. Youth akfremi tol. Finger and Natalie say problem be youth. Yeah, we super tell do go see stream be the old. So the work to end the cold gallop, but I'm going to source that mood. Stress be door to activate mood on some mood. Get the soft mood so you don't go. Take a pun too. More talk you man a pretend to be cool. The fact that y'all come in the feed that I feel cool. Why talk cool? You give me the hoos, the poos, poos, poos. Jive a cafe tuba. Sam Guru get a bit of cola. Lang auto camio a gile gile. Gire click. Fakten aktif ten amnu juga merbi, pabi mag be maget kata nam new. Don bugur wara soldier lu bayar sutra gale musaket. Don dasah bob yangi metete amun ini dekik nyokir, dekik doh hak kurang share tak cinta pans. Dekik anjak rare baba dah ul responsibilities muk. Fok fakten mungkin kafir. Yo min dah waru ya fuz. At the age of eighteen independence is a bob. The finger jang be watch do am job. The fikir amul job do chop. Kaju gudik betul kiri. Be merbi amul chaf di ngadu lu lama sta fuck life. You know life, but you lock. But you to life, then you shut. Wrong when you do work. I can't believe you tango tango boy. You can't rock. But when you yap, you talk. Talk when you talk. If you suffer, I'm not hard. Do I'm bad? So you do gal sa do you like sa halat? Can you? Warang gal talk the halat the life be the demi. Lead, we go borrow the help of malat. Lead, we go need the gold fit the. The help of the Adam we take from malat. The jail palante we help. Ham ham ne sarah. Jarchi don kangam sa life. Bulko tek ni bolo lah ne sarah. Balka do ganda. Gaya yang ganda, balik aje gaya tu gaya gede ganda. Yo balik balik, tibu susu satu saya enggak lah. Ya yang muzik fetch sama orang sebab ni raga agam balah boy. So no, le sama kali mau digak tu bintu tektal bintu yek yek lah man. Di mana jangge cimbed di bela. Ikra ada mal jangge, cimbed di bawah bu jangge kaya. Tadara lah, fengai jangge lenga mesti jangge cie aku lo anggal. Kon ayo gur, jugal di mal jangku antek lay. Yeah, 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 that's nice, Chavis. And from one thing I learned from it, danka, danka, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah, and then I believe solely you read there. So, so, so that was a very, very brilliant poem from Nas Chavis. So, if you want to see more of such things, please join us. I'll be there, I'll be there, and our boss will be there. Find TV will be there, find TV will be there, find TV will be there. So, I mean, join us there as we, I mean, show your live coverage and see your allergy. I mean, I mean, Nas Chavis will be on stage, not only Nas Chavis. But other great artists and also great poems, uh, poets. Yeah. So that's I mean, your poets, I mean, uh, Champion Charm, others, huh? Champion Gay, Champion Gay, and you have, I mean, and then that Alice, Champion Gay, 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 Champ
at Ahmad Bar Jensen Sinchi Alaji. So before I'm taking a leave, uh, allow my co-host I mean to say her final statement and then I will close the program. Inshallah. Okay viewers, this is your TV, Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint, and I was your co-host Maria Makeda with my host Ibrahim Mbai and our artist Nas Jovis. <laughs> Yes, I mean, I think uh, it was a very interesting, I mean, uh, uh, show. And just to remind you, it was your show, I mean, um, uh, uh, Top East on Nelson Berlin. And we've seen that uh, what Nas Jobis said. So, I mean, just to cut it short, if you want to see more, if you want to hear more, if you want to see good good performance on poetry and music, I mean, join us at Sinjology as we celebrate, I mean, Nas Jobis and his team. So, I mean, uh, do stay connected and follow, I mean, our programs. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on our platform. So, this is Fine TV Gambia, Olivia Point. Bye-bye. And I'll see you 10 June at Sinjology. Bye. Bye. <laughs>